Hey YouTube, question for you. For any of you hydro growers out there. How do you like spending 20 to 30 bucks on a bottle of Kilm egg every time you need it? I don't like it at all. That's a lot of money. I'm going to show you today how to make Kilm egg at home. Just using stuff that you can get down the store. Uh, pretty much all any box store, or grocery store, or drug store will have most of this stuff. Uh, so what we got here is we got just regular distilled vinegar, eggshells of course for your calcium, and Epsom salts for your magnesium. So what we're going to do, the first step is to take your eggshells, save them of course after you eat the eggs, and I store them away in a container until I have enough to use. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these eggs, we'll crush them down into smaller pieces, and what I like to do is throw them on the barbecue. I just use a pie plate, tin foil, whatever you have there. Throw them on there at medium heat for uh, about an hour or so. And what you end up with, ta-da! You end up with these dried out eggshells. So the purpose of doing that is, for one, to take the moisture out of the eggshell so it reacts better to the vinegar. Uh, it can kind of absorb the vinegar better. And also there's a membrane on the inside of the eggshell that we want to get rid of. So by heating it up to that, like that, it uh, burns that membrane off. And now what you do with it is you take a grinder, blender, uh, coffee grinder works well. Anything you have really that will grind it up. Um, I have this little one here that I think will work quite well. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with the burnt or browned dry eggshell. does have a little bit of a smell to it. It's not too bad. That's why I did it on the barbecue. I didn't really want to stink my house up like that. So. Anyway, we'll fill this up and we'll give it a good ground and uh, come back in a sec to show you. Okay, so now that we got that ground up, you can see here now it's almost a, a fine dust. Um, the finer you can get it, the better. This one didn't actually grind as well as, as I was hoping, but it'll work. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a container, set this aside, set this aside for now. We'll grab a container. I just have this two liter, I believe it's a two liter jar here. And we will add in our shells. We'll try not to get it everywhere. All right. There we go. So we have one cup of eggshell. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add one cup of vinegar. Now, when you add the vinegar, it's going to cause a chemical reaction between the calcium carbonate and the acid. So that's why I have this tray underneath here, because it's going to bubble up pretty good. So... Add this in. There we go. We'll give it a make sure it's all soaked in there. Yeah, it's bubbling up a little bit. So we'll give her a mix. And uh, I don't know if you can see the bubbles there. What it's doing is it's the acid is uh, reacting to the calcium carbonate 
and it is turning it into calcium agitate, acetate, sorry, uh, which will be instantly available to your plants and water soluble once you strain out whatever shell is left. So then once you have this done, uh, I let it set for a week or two up in the cupboard and then strain it out. Any other eggshells in there, you can throw them in your plants, you can throw them in your compost, or you can probably just add more vinegar to it and get it to work again. So some of you might be thinking, well, what about the acid in the vinegar? Well, what happens is during that chemical reaction, the acid is neutralized. So at the end of it, you should get a pH fairly close to neutral, but uh, definitely when you mix this in with your uh, nutrients to feed to your plants, you'll definitely want a pH afterwards. Make sure it's where you want it and uh, you're good to go. And now as far as the magnesium, uh, you could add it directly to your, uh, your calcium wash or just add it. What I like to do is just add it separate. Uh, so when this is done, strain it off. I'll use probably uh, a teaspoon for two gallons or a tablespoon, sorry, for two gallons and a teaspoon per gallon of Epsom salts, which is magnesium sulfate. So you're getting your calcium, you're getting your magnesium, um, and just use it as you would uh, your store-bought $30 Calmeg. So that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to take this out, put it up in the cupboard for a week or so, let it work off, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions, uh, leave a comment down below. I try to get back to you as soon as I can. All right, happy growing, guys.